council met in session Monday, August 7th, 5.30 in the council chambers, a good session. Uh, we started off under recognitions and awards. Elizabeth Wafel from the Coalition of Greater Minnesota Cities gave an update on the legislative session recap and just touched base with uh, <coughs> our city council and mayor. Talked about LGA and the importance of that, wastewater regulations and those challenges that we face as far as those costs are concerned. We uh, moved on to a public hearing for a tax abatement for Bigelow Linen uh, construction, another single family home. This is a spec home. Uh, this will be at 1320th Street Northeast out in the Nature's Ridge subdivision. Estimated value of that home is 299000 Council approved the abatement of uh, single family home taxes for five years and uh, we'll proceed forward with the city, uh, county, and school district public hearings, but council approved our portion of that abatement. Uh, we moved on, we awarded bids for asbestos removal on several hazardous structures. In order to clear the way for their demolition, we have to abate the uh, asbestos in the buildings. Those estimates for five properties came in at $29,200. So that clears the way for the asbestos to be removed and then get bids for demolition of those properties. This is part of our continued effort to address nuisance properties. Uh, does come at some expense, but uh, understandable to protect the neighborhoods and blight in a given community or neighborhood. Uh, moving on, we had a transfer of the Hiawatha bar license from one individual to another. We rearranged the road uh, in what's called Fox Point, which will be out by north of Walmart and east of the uh, village co-op. Uh, there was previously roads dedicated in that area, so the uh, vacation commissioners had to hear that, and they recommended a realignment of the road system for a development that will be moving forward there of townhomes. We have moved uh, lift stations and uh, our wastewater treatment facility have uh, electronic communications. It's called uh, lift station telemetry. Basically, allows the lift stations to talk to the wastewater treatment plant. We have to approve or council approved a contract with SEH to make sure that system and communication can be had. Um, wanted to ensure reliability and uh, customer service to folks and make sure troubles don't arise related to the sewer system. Uh, council approved that contract with SEH. We also had a uh, addendum to a contract with SEH for the flood control project phase one of the North Main, which is here at the uh, power plant site. Um, council adjusted that for some additional work that they've done of uh, $55,680. Uh, Austin will be getting a little bit bigger. Um, council approved annexation for Carrot property, which is out on I-90, um, out on County Road 46 to the west there. Uh, that property, roughly 280 acres, going to the county line. Council approved annexation, a joint resolution for annexation. Uh, later in that evening, we went out to the uh, Austin Township and they uh, approved a similar resolution uh, to make that happen. That'll go on to the state of Minnesota for their review. And if approved, Austin will be getting a little bit bigger. Our municipal boundaries will be extending a little bit. Uh, the Carrots also requested annexation of some property they have in Lansing Township. That'll be coming forward in a future council meeting, but uh, at least this portion was approved by council. We declared a hazardous structure at uh, on 12th Avenue Northeast and then we also granted authority for the Planning and Zoning Department for some junk issues at three homes in the community. Other than that, that pretty well wrapped up the uh, council meeting. Uh, we do have the doggy dip coming up on the 18th of this month if you're interested in that. Um, take the dog for a little dip down at the municipal pool before we close it for the season. Um, other than that, if you have any questions about this or any other item, please feel free to give me a call. Love to hear from you. 437-9941. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next edition of the Council Recap.